As the Winter Olympics continue in Beijing, students who have dreams to one day be on the same level are currently competing here in Nashville. News 4's Justina Latimer has more from the 2022 Tisca Tennessee State Championships. A splash of hard work and laps of dedication. We're training, you know, anywhere from some kids 13 hours a week to 20 hours a week. It just depends on their age. And all of that training being put to the test. I still try to swim every single event I can just so that I'm not hyper focusing on the ones. For two days, the Centennial Sports Flex will be packed with young swimmers and divers competing in the Tennessee State High School Championship meet. It's a big deal for many since last year's meet was split into different locations because of COVID. I have a lot of friends from the different teams, so I think it'll be a lot of fun to um, get to see all of them again. I'm a little nervous, but I do have a lot of people racing with me. The goal for some of these students is to make it beyond this level. I had two injuries. I've had knee and hip surgery and I've continued to push through and swim. Seated first in the 500, a big inspiration for Anna Jackson was watching Olympic medalist Alex Walsh compete and win a silver medal. And swimming with a girl that you knew from high school and seeing her aspire to her dreams is amazing. As a, as a head coach of a team, you have years where you have a lot of kids who might be here, kids who might be here, kids who might be here, and your job is to work with them all. I'm just enthusiastic about our kids and, and what they're going to be able to do this weekend. Justina Latimer, News 4 Nashville.